What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to expand on the video from yesterday. Okay, the video from yesterday was talking about how to identify your weak spots in game. All right. Looking like analyzing across the board where is your game failing, okay, when you're doing the seduction process? Where are the areas that you have trouble with that are vastly suboptimal, okay? Or where things are going wrong? How can you identify those areas and how can you bolster them up? Okay. Now today I'm going to talk about how to iteratively set incremental goals to make sure you are constantly pushing forward. All right. So before we continue, please like and subscribe below. If you have not already, press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos Sunday to Thursday. So first of all, think of like the gym, right? When you're doing working out, right? Um, I remember I met a dude that had like perfect physique, like really chiseled. And I was like, yo man, what's your secret? And he was like, oh, it's just stacking paper plates, right? And I don't want you to, I don't, that's not a, a direct perfect analogy, okay? Because by implementing things from my system, okay, either through my live training or my products or a more limited capacity what I provide on YouTube, you can stack a whole shitload of plates at once. So it's not like, like in the gym, you're just like increasing the weight a little bit. But by tracking the amount that you lifted from session to session, you can add two and a half more pounds, five more pounds, okay? And, or in, in fucking kilograms, okay? Five kilo, 10 kilo, whatever. And as you do that, you look over a period of time, and now you've built up a whole bunch more weight, and that in turn has built more muscle and has allowed you to lift even more. Okay, so fucking fix the screen here. So that is how you progress. Okay, now if you make sure you watch the last video if you have not already, and I'll, I'll link to it at the end. It's um, how to how to identify the weak spots of your game and improve them. I talk about a green board where you can mark different areas and sub areas of your game, yellow for degraded, red for you know non-functional or close to non-functional, and the goal is to make everything green. And then once it's green across the board, then you're looking for ways to optimize even further, okay, and get even, you know, green doesn't mean the, the best possible position you can be in, it just means that it's functioning to some capacity, and then there's always room for improvement. So what you can do, how this tracks, translates into like a practical sense, for those of you watching, they're like, okay, you know, well, what should I do? Write down, like, here's how many approaches I'm gonna do, and, and start, you know, start small, start with what you're comfortable with. Here's how many approaches I'm gonna do per week. Okay, here's how many dates I'm gonna shoot for per week. Here's how many phone numbers I'm gonna shoot for per week. Okay, if you can't hit those goals, then I want you to make them a little bit easier for yourself. Okay, you're all, all the different people watching are at different levels here. So, and you know, people have different time commitments what they can devote to this stuff based on work and, and other commitments. So start off setting some goals, okay? And then see if you hit them and then combine that with your green board analysis, okay? So it's, it's kind of like a two, two part thing here. At the same time, like in parallel, that you're fixing the red areas first in this whole flow of game, okay? And by watching that last video, you'll understand what I mean. And moving them up to green, okay, now things are functional. That's going to directly impact the results, the quantitative results, okay, in terms of the amount of interactions that go well, the amount of girls you can make out with, the amount of phone numbers you can get, the amount of dates you can schedule, and the amount of girls you end up sleeping with, the amount of regulars you end up building up. So all that is going to translate into results, but, you can also look at those results and no matter how many things are degraded or not functioning on the left, you can now make it make another little bit higher goal. Okay, I'm going to approach five more girls this week. I'm going to get five more phone numbers this week. I'm going to go on one more date this week. Okay, don't make it unrealistic. Don't say, oh, this week I'm going to go on 20 dates, right? You can do that if, if you're in a, at an advanced level and you don't have a real job. In fact, one of my clients that's a dentist, he told me he's using my, my two products, Occam's Razor and Leads Machine, 
he bought the products when he was at like 30 something lay count and now he's literally booked out a day a date at least one day per day for the next six weeks now i've never even done something like that myself it's not, it's not that i couldn't it's just leads tend to fade as, <laughs> as you go way out in the future but he's literally booked that's 36 days he's booked dates at least one per day 36 days out and he has a full-time job as a dentist so you know so it, 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 these things are possible and he wasn't even at a high late count when he got the products but um and if you're interested in those check the links in the description it's it's really I, I covered everything across the whole board of game you can just copy and paste do exactly what i'm doing with the text and everything to set the dates that's what the lee's machine product is all about um but okay so let's just let's just give some example things for metrics write down your goal approaches for this week okay write down your goal uh, matches on tinder or bumble for this week for your online game matches okay write down your goal phone numbers write down your goal dates and base this off of what you are typically getting try to try to hit what you're typically getting at a, at a starting point and then from there try to do a little bit better each week okay and you'll find surprise surprise as you fix the degraded areas of your game okay from the last video about finding your weak spots as you as you fix the degraded areas as you fix the red areas which are non-functional or close to non-functional that's going to have a direct impact on these quantitative results that are possible so the, the key message in this video here is get the system working okay which is this part here do that high level overview and then drill down in the red boxes and figure out what subcomponents are broken so you can fix them and then and I, I do have shitloads of content on this channel like <laughs> like literally if you're if you're unsure about which video you can use to fix different things I mean the product is a full blueprint but the, the videos help a lot too on the, on the channel if you're unsure, just leave a comment. Jesus, there's always fucking girls parading around in heels right in front of my window right when I'm recording here. Um, Jesus. I heart Poland. It's so nice not seeing fat chicks around. It's like they all died. All right. So, <laughs> uh, lost my train of thought completely as well. But yeah, if you're, if you're not sure, you know, how to fix those red areas, leave comments or, or even email me it's better if you leave comments i can just address them in one place here without you know having to attend to each each thing one by one um and that's that's really where you want to focus that's where you want to focus your improvement because because what you have is a typical situation like the, the typical situation where a guy's practicing this stuff is he's making the same fuck ups over and over and companies like real social dynamics will tell you just do a thousand more approaches. No, you're doing a thousand approaches with a whole bunch of shit red and yellow. That's fucking up the results and a thousand more approaches isn't going to change it. You're going to get what you've always gotten if you do what you've always done. So the, the solution is not to do more volume and quantity of incorrect method. It's to fix those areas, but then also be pushing yourself to beat what you know, you're, you're, you're competing against yourself. Okay. Like some guys say like, Oh, I, I feel intimidated because you banged over a thousand girls and like, you know, I'm so far behind and I don't know if I'll ever be like that. Don't, don't use me as your measure for success. Like I've devoted my life to this and I, you know, I'm spe I'm devoting a shitload of time and effort to this. Um, just compete against yourself. Okay. Try to always, be a better version of yourself okay that goes for your style and fashion that goes for your, your what's going on with you in business what's going on with your friendships and relationships how you're doing with women always trying always try to be improving and upgrading every piece of your life okay so i will link that video at the end on identifying your weaknesses keep pushing yourself to increase those quantitative metrics and results okay to do a little bit better each week if not a lot better okay you'll, you'll be surprised as you as you clear up those red and yellow boxes 
you're going to be jumping by leaps and bounds. Okay. And on the live, on the live programs, guys are like skyrocketing on night one and everyone's like, how did this happen? I, I didn't realize I could have such a, a massive improvement. It's because on, on night one, I'm fucking shattering all those red boxes. I'm making everything green. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. This is, I'm trying to give you guys a, a game plan here. Here she goes again. <laughs> like a fucking pervert here on my on, on camera as you all watch me watch this hot young lady in heels um yeah i'm trying i'm trying to give you a, a prescription for for diagnosing your game and, and solving your problems in game so that you can progress because the point of this is to get better not to just circle jerk and and digest content okay so go out there fuck shit up track iteratively, iteratively improve and uh if you're ready to go to the next level email me below or check out the products and thank you guys so much for watching and please like and subscribe keep in mind as another reminder squat and casanova roast on thursday if you have any inside information about him email it to me my email is in the description and i will keep it confidential thank you guys and I will see you during the week. Take care.